is, is, is forcing people out of business that would otherwise be in business. I've spoken to them personally. But K Street, the lobbying arm of Wall Street, doing very, very well. This should really not be a surprise to many of us. This is the way government works, which brings me to another point I wanted to make. I have a lot of points I want to make, and I have only two hours to make it. Um, the other point I wanted to make, this is a brainstorm that I had, and this might sound conspiratorial, so just bear with me. But, you know, we talked yesterday on the show, Producer Jason, about how this Syria thing just doesn't add up. It just isn't making sense to most of us paying attention to the news. It, you know, I wrote my opinion piece in uh, World Net Daily on Sunday about how this doesn't make sense. This president campaigned on being a peacenik, and all of a sudden now he's become a bigger hawk than the hawks. And all this weird alliances, France and John McCain and John Boehner, and it's just weird. There's something fishy here. And I think we can all agree to that. So you and I were talking about that yesterday. And then I, I am uh, getting a little too much sun this morning. It's very, very hot here on the West Coast. Summer has just kicked in. And uh, it's, it's quite hot. And um, in the convertible, so it's even hotter. It's like, it's like being a piece of bacon. Oh, in man, a, life is so tough. In a, in a, shut up, in a roaster. That's kind of how I feel. So I think my brain was a little cooked. And right when my brain gets to that kind of cookedish place, that and yes, DJ, that is Gina speak. Right when my brain gets to that kind of cookedish place is when I start to have thoughts like this. This has to be a distraction. This has to be a distraction on the part of the administration. Now, I'm, when I say the administration, I am talking about not just the Democrats, Democrat elites, and you Republicans can go ahead and bash me. I consider myself a Republican, I guess, but I am getting less and less uh, enamored with the leadership and thinking them more and more a part of everything happening on the Democrat team. Honestly, that, that is the way I see Republicans today as very hard to distinguish <laughs> from Democrats. So anyway, the establishment, the elite, the imperialists in the administration. I am... Okay, it's not a good day when your daughter texts you and says, where can I find latex gloves? That's not a oh good... Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I don't want to get that text. <laughs> no! Um, so, so, so the administration is obviously... Something is going on here. What, what are the tactics of the current elite in Washington, D.C., inside the Beltway? The tactics are always... Jason, you know them. The tactics are... Uh, to distract, to never let a crisis go to waste, and where you don't have a crisis, just go ahead and create one because you need one to distract. So take a look, and every time this has happened, whether it was Benghazi and we had the huge distraction right after that, or uh, it, it is, uh, of course, this war in Syria, I'm asking myself the question, what are they trying to distract us from? And I think I have the answer. You know, there was some serious, genuine momentum for Ted Cruz and the Don't Blink campaign. I know the AGU Grizzlies were behind it. I know there was a lot uh, going on with that. And people were saying, we need to defund Obamacare. And remember, I went on Neil Cavuto's, it may not have been Neil Cavuto's show, I went on some show on Fox. It might have been Charles Payne, the Stuart Barney, Barney show. But um, I, I went on some show and I said, they need a continuing resolution. They need to support a continuing resolution for to defund Obamacare. And everybody knows this is what needed to, needs to happen. And the GOP establishment doesn't quite know what to do about that. And the other thing is now so many of these groups on K Street that I was just telling you about are very vested in this program. That's why it's almost impossible to def defund a program once it's been implemented. So everyone knows that time is very much of the essence and the more of the hospital association, the American Medical Association, and the big pharma that they can get on board, the less likely it is that Obamacare can actually be defunded. So we have the threat of the government shutdown. So what, is, what do the Beltway elite want to do about it? Hmm, I can see that. We need to create a crisis. And we need to not just create any crisis. We need to create a crisis that is so big that if those grassroots types that we can't stand, like Ted Cruz, Michelle Bachman, the rest of them, if they try and bring up 
that we should shut government down, even part of government, that we should make life harder on government when we're trying to fight a war, how insensitive would that be? Do that get, means they probably don't love the troops. Do you get my theory? That is genius. I don't know about genius, but it's my theory. And it may sound like a conspiracy, but my friends, I think it is what is going on. I think it's what we're seeing right here. We've got Jonathan Kahn coming up next. We're going to talk to him about his book, The Harbinger. You will not want to miss it and how Syria plays into this important prophecy. So you stay tuned. You're listening to The Dr. Gina Show.